Hi everyone, John from RCD. Thanks for joining me and welcome to a look at the new Parkzone Artisan. That is Artisan with a Z. This is not some fancy bread or anything like that. This is a four channel foam airplane. Just released by Parkzone, 250 bucks buy and fly, 42.5 inch wingspan, 34 ounces. We'll take a quick look at the specs. Then we will look at it in the box, do a quick review of the build and get it out and fly it. You have a 480 size brushless outrunner, 960 KV, 30 amp ESC, six channel receiver with AS3X technology, three cell 1800 milliamp LiPo battery, and it also comes with a two to three cell LiPo balancing charger. Just real quick, here's everything in the box. And of course, as usual, as we expect, everything is nicely packaged from Park Zone. The landing gear is quick and easy to install. You just slide the wire gear into the slot on the bottom of the fuselage. A little plastic plate goes over that. Once that's in place, you put on the side fairings, which just press fit to the wire gear. And then they have these little tabs right here. Once those are in place, then you put the screws in. So the screws are the last step for installing the landing gear, but that's all you gotta do. With the tail, there is really not much to do. The rudder is already installed. Control horn is already hooked up to the push rod. You know, tail wheel is already on. So we're just gonna deal with the horizontal stabilizer and the elevator. You're just gonna slide your carbon fiber spar into place there, and then just join each elevator horizontal stabilizer half by sliding it into place. There's a plastic tab for joining the elevators. And then once that's in place there, you have these little tape strips to secure the horizontal stabilizer. And again, that will work fine. I'll probably use glue myself just because I'm used to doing that, but that's all there is to it. Then you go ahead and hook up the elevator the same way as the rudder is here. And once you have your radio on and everything, go ahead and mechanically center all of the control surfaces. This is AS3X, so we want to have that nice and mechanically centered rather than using any sub trim, and you'll be ready to go. For the wings, just slide in the carbon fiber spar. Go ahead, just slide on the wing and connect the lead to one of the Y connectors coming from the receiver. And there you go, there is the wing bolt in place. Wings are done. The bind and fly package comes with this three cell 1800 milliamp pack. This is now the only three cell 1800 milliamp pack I own. It's kind of an orphan size to me. I have plenty of these 2200 milliamp packs and it looks like that is going to be an easy fit into the fuselage. The airplane has lots of nice little touches. You have these tiny little vortex generators or turbulators along the wing. All of the trim is stickers. This isn't paint, so this isn't gonna flake off. All right, guys, that's all there is to assembling this plane. There really is not much to do. Very simple, very easy. If you're not familiar with the Spectrum AR635 receiver, there is this little guidebook within the packaging, so go ahead and get yourself familiar with that. Otherwise, we're ready to go fly, so let's take it outside, get it up in the air.
Well, there was some flying of the Park Zone Artisan on a perfect morning. No wind, sun was out, birds were chirping, everything was green, and just a great day to go flying. The Artisan does great sport aerobatics. It's got nice power, good vertical performance. It's not unlimited, but plenty of power to do nice big loops, nice maneuvers, great knife edge, flies well inverted. I needed no trim whatsoever. I just took off, started flying, no issues there at all. I tested the stall, slowed the plane down as much as I could, and it just wanted to drop the nose a little bit. It's pretty amazing how slow you can get the plane to fly. I hope you could see that from the video. So landing basically just brought it in dead stick, floated it in, landed it, very easy to fly. I flew about five minutes on the 1800 pack and six and a half minutes on the 2200 pack, and there was still power left for the model. So either way, you know, if you have a lot of 2200 packs, you'll be just fine. They fit perfectly, the plane balances well, and it flies great. If you've gotten comfortable flying three channel planes and you want to move up to something more aerobatic four channel, I think this is a great choice. It flies on the three cell 2200 packs, which are very common, and it just flies really well. It's an aerobatic plane, so it's going to go where you point it, but at the same time, it just tracks so nicely, feels so smooth, so precise. It really flies a lot bigger than it is. I mean, it's only 42 inches in wingspan, which makes it very easy to fit in the car, but it does have that larger feel in the air, just in the way that it flies, the way it tracks. So just great overall performance. You know, I really feel like I have to reach to come up with anything to complain about with this plane. It's just really that good. The only thing I can say is that I wish this ESC battery lead was a little bit longer. This is it. You know, if it was an inch or so longer, it would be a little easier to connect the battery. When the battery is stuffed in here, you kind of have to squeeze your fingers in there to get things connected. But that's really about all I can come up with. All right, well, there you have it. Those are my first impressions of the Park Zone Artisan. Just a really nice flying model. I'm really impressed with it. I think it's a great model to move up from three channel planes if you want something more aerobatic, four channel. And I had a great time flying it. So overall, just I think this one's a winner. Very happy with it. As always, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. I'll try to answer them. Also, if you want to give a thumbs up or subscribe, I always appreciate that so much. And I will see you flying next time. Bye-bye.